Hey guys, how's it going? It's General Heat here. And today we're going to be tackling a question that someone asked me quite a while ago, and that is how many melee hits does it take to kill a flood? So we're just simply going to uh, test that out, and we're going to, you know, count. So starting with Halo 1 and the human combat form, let's find out how many takes it hits. And this could vary a little bit, just to, for just a heads up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven. Yep, that one took uh, Bungie's lucky seven hits. <laughs> now, like I said, this will probably vary slightly, so let's do another one. Let's get the uh, elite combat form. One, two, three. Now, that one only took three, far from seven. Two, three, four, five. That one took about five. This one got shot at, so it doesn't count. Let's try another human combat form. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one took eight. So, there you have it. On average, it would take about five to eight hits to kill a flood on Halo 1. So, it's not too bad. Just not something that you'd want to do on Legendary <laughs> very frequently. Alright, time for Halo 2 which had a lot of big changes. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. It took eighteen melee hits to kill a human flood combat form. That is, like, more than double what it was in Halo 1. <laughs> Let's try it on the uh, Flood Combat Elite now. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That one took about 14. I might have miscounted a little bit at the beginning, but basically it's in teens. Uh, so, pretty ridiculous number compared to Halo 1. Now, just for fun, I wanted to test it with the Flood Juggernaut. So, I'm going to do it in fast motion. I'm not going to bother counting because literally, I'm pretty sure you cannot kill them with melee hits. Or if you can, it will probably like. I, I, I literally got to like over 100, <laughs> at least with this. Um, but I couldn't record the full 100 because my, my computer ran out of uh, memory on a hard drive. So, as you can see, I'm doing a lot of melee through Flood Juggernauts, and it is not dying. And I can tell you, like, after this, like, after, like, 100 or so, it still had enough health to, like, take, like, a rocket hit and still survive. So, if you could kill the Flood Juggernaut with melee hits, it could be, like, in the thousands. So, I'm not even going to bother attempting it. If somebody else wants to attempt that, be my guest, and, you know, let me know. And, um, I don't know, I'll give you... Some kind of prize. <laughs> we'll see. Now, on to Halo 3. One. One. So that was the Brute combat form, and Lee combat form, and the Human combat form is also one melee hit. So, <laughs> huge, huge difference from Halo 2, and even Halo 1. The Flood are a lot easier to kill in Halo 3. But you could say they're a lot more aggressive, and you know, maybe a little more skilled with the weapons. Uh, but basically, all the other forms as well, like the crawler and the um, the other, I forgot what you call it, the one that shoots the needles, they're all one hit as well. Uh, and the flood tank, two, three, four, five, five, five hits. So basically, the flood tank is. Uh, about the same amount of health as the Halo 1, you know, regular combat forms. Well, at least in terms of melee hits. So, Halo 3 is a lot easier, but sometimes, even on easy, you might encounter, like, a flood that's, like, for some reason, like, immune to melee and even energy swords, as you can see here. So, I mean, you don't count them too much, but that's basically to the exception. So, there you have it. Halo 3 is basically the easiest to kill the flood, followed by Halo 1. And Halo 2 is definitely the hardest.
at least when it comes to melee hits. So yeah, I hope you guys found this to be pretty informative and interesting. And if you have any other thing you'd like me to check out or test out, you know, just leave your uh, leave your suggestions in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do subscribe, because uh, um, you know, got a lot more things coming out soon. So <laughs> make sure to stay tuned, and I will see you guys next time.